Okay, y'all. I don't remember uh, whether this is something I asked about when I gave my how am I doing, y'all, uh, uh, video and asked more of what you, you know, what you wanted to see more of, what you enjoyed seeing me do, what subjects you enjoyed seeing me tackle, which ones you could do without uh, ever hearing me talk about again, etc. and so forth. I don't know if I mentioned the Mandela Effect uh, videos. Mandela Effect videos that I record tend to be highly, highly divisive because there are some people who just think that the Mandela Effect is something that's not worth talking about at all. That's just silly, uh, <clears throat> ridiculous, um, and uh, you know that they don't want any part in it. And other people are very intrigued by it and uh, wonder what it's all about and have have uh, experienced it, you know, are Mandela affected themselves, just as I am in, uh, in ways that I've talked about before, which is why I'm drawn to this subject matter. I don't know what it means. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I do know what it means, but I do have a very strong conviction that it cannot just be explained away. It can't just be explained away by by saying, oh, uh, well, all you millions of people who remember the Bernstein Bears, you're just wrong. You're just remembering it wrong for all those years that you clearly have this memory of that being the name of the title of the books, uh, the children's books. And now you're told, no, it was never that way. The title was never, ever the Bernstein Bears. It's always been the Berenstain Bears. No, no, uh... Baron Stain would have would have stuck with me. I would have remembered that because that's a name that doesn't sound like a name. I would have remembered the stain part. Uh, that would have that would have made an impression on me. But it wasn't Baron Stain. It was Baron Steen. Um, and uh, at least from my pr perspective, now I know for a lot of people, you know that uh, bear. It, 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 they just remember it being always being Berenstain, and there's never there's never been any disruption at all uh, in their memories. And uh, I'm not saying that they're wrong either, but uh, this is a, that's what makes this phenomenon a phenomenon, right? For, for every everything that it applies to, and you know, people say, well, it's not really meaningful because uh, all it, it's every time you hear people, hear people talk about it, it's just. Uh, you know, stuff that, that's about junk culture, you know, pop culture stuff, like, uh, you know, children's books, or lines in, in famous movies, or, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, advertising logos, or, or something along those lines. But no, it's also, it's also actual verses in the Bible. The Bible doesn't say the lion shall lie down with the lamb. Not anymore. It doesn't say that anymore. But for years and years and years, you can, you can find a lot of what they call residue on this, this uh, particular point. You know, references to the lion shall lay down with the lamb being in the Bible. That's, you know, that was just sort of... Uh, a uh, uh, that was just well known. No, nobody even disputed it. But but you look at the verse where that supposedly comes from, and it doesn't say that now. It doesn't say that now. Um, and it supposedly never did say that. Just like the Baron, just like Baron Steen was supposedly always Baron Stein. So I don't know if you're not if you just think that that uh, uh, this is a silly subject and you don't want to have anything to do with it. Whatever, don't watch this video. Watch, watch, watch others of my videos that uh, you can take seriously. I don't want to hear anybody say, "Why are you talking about this? This is just stupid." Uh, you know, if you if you uh, if you respond in that way, I will delete your comment just because that's uh, you know. I, again, why are you here? Why 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 are you why are you paying attention to this video if it's just stupid to you? Uh, you, you can go a lot of other places and, and, uh, uh, and occupy your time in ways that, that are, that to you are more productive. All right. But, uh, this is just for those of us 
who take this phenomenon seriously, whatever it is, whatever it means, and I'm not claiming to know what it means finally, and that's why I think this whole, oh, well, you're just, a, you're, <laughs> this just shows you're schizophrenic, uh, as, as somebody uh, once tried to, uh, uh, recently, not, not too long ago, uh, a former friend, uh, a former colleague, uh, tried to, uh, <clears throat> um, tried to, uh, 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 communicate this slur about me being schizophrenic, quote-unquote. I mean, I'm schizophrenic if I say, uh, if, if, if I, if I put forth some elaborate idea of what it must be, and I'm, I'm very dogmatic about that idea, and, uh, you know, I, I'm, uh, uh, I'm sure that, you know, I see things that, that, uh, that nobody else sees and whatever, you know, um, I could understand, then I could get, I could, I could understand why someone might label that schizophrenic, but, but just saying, just noting the Mandela effect for what it is without claiming to know why, why it's happening or what it signifies, what it means, uh, you know, that's just, that's just charting uh, um, reality, charting memory, uh, and uh, that's not that's the very opposite of crazy. That's that's uh, that's um, that's sanity. That's that's uh, that's the use of human uh, uh, capacities for for analysis and reasoning and. Uh, you know, probing mysteries, even if they're unsolved and maybe unsolvable ones. So here's what I want to want to ask y'all now. Let me show you my own chest here. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question: When when we say a pledge, when we when when we in America, when we were kids and we said the you know the pledge we said to the pledge to the flag we pledged allegiance to the flag what did we do what did they tell us to do put our hand on our heart where was that that was on the left side uh of our chest that's where our heart was we put our hand there because that's where our heart was and we were put we were putting our hand over our heart to pledge our allegiance, because because uh, symbolically speaking, our, our heart uh, was uh, was what we were holding in our hands while we were pledging allegiance. Right. Well, guess what? What if I were to tell you, as Morbius would say, what if I were to tell you that the heart is no longer on the left side? of your chest, that it's now in the middle. That's right. This is where your heart is. So all that time we were pledging allegiance, we should have been like, we shouldn't have been like this. We should have been like this. <laughs> Which looks stupid. <laughs> um, but that's what, that's what they say now. It's, it's in the center of your chest. What? What? They say, okay, maybe it leans, maybe it hangs a little to the left, but only slightly. It's mostly in the center of your chest. So our, has our physiology changed in uh, 20, 25 years? In the 25 years since, or, or it's been longer than that for me. In the, you know, the time when we were uh, standing in school, pledging allegiance to the flag, putting our hands over where we thought our hearts were. Uh, has that all changed now? Okay. And don't fucking call me schizophrenic for asking this question. All right? Don't do that. That's not, uh, that's not appropriate. That's not, that's not right. That's not fair. This is a reasonable question. So, how many of you remember that your, that your, uh, your heart is on the left side of your chest? And how many of you have always known that it's in the middle of your chest, which is a par have always known that it's in the middle of your chest, which is where they say it is now. 
if you don't believe me, look it up. Look it up. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying now. I don't know either. Okay. That's all. Thanks for watching.